Today, we're talking about Aloha Airlines Flight 243. And a ceiling popped off? It's a plane that, while at cruising altitude, lost its ceiling. So this particular flight departed at 1.25 p.m. Hawaii time, but the plane was used for several flights earlier that day. At 5 in the morning, a first officer for Aloha Airlines began the pre-flight inspection and checklist for the plane and flew three round-trip flights from Honolulu to Hilo, Maui, and Kauai. And all these flights went by uneventfully in the plane performed exactly as they expected. I have a question. Uh, the the pre-flight kind of checklist um, inspection, mm-hmm. is it more thorough the first flight of the day or is it the same yes. after every... Okay. That's an excellent point. So in that first flight of the day, they went out and they did uh, external visual inspections of the plane, but they were not required to do that in between each of the subsequent flights. Okay. So at 1.25 p.m., flight 243 departed from Hilo bound for Honolulu with three flight attendants, 89 passengers, and an FAA air traffic controller who was observing in the cockpit. After takeoff, the plane started climbing to flight level 240. Nothing unusual happened during the departure and climb, uh, but as the plane leveled out at 24,000 feet, both pilots heard a loud clap or whooshing sound followed by the sound of wind behind them. The captain turned around and found that the door to the cockpit was missing. He could see the blue sky where the first class ceiling had been. And the first class section of the plane had just burst open and uh, that part of the ceiling was gone. So not the entire ceiling for the plane, but a big portion of it. A big hole. Uh, So um, Captain Schortenheimer immediately took control of the plane and, you know, they began an emergency descent. Because again, they're at 24,000 feet. The captain extended the speed brakes and descended at an indicated airspeed of about 280 to 290 knots. And the rate of descent at one point was 4,100 feet per minute, which is really fast. Typical descent rate for a Boeing 737 is between uh, 1,500 and 2,000 feet a minute. So, you know, he was going double, almost triple the normal uh, descent speed, just trying to get down. Uh First Officer Tompkins set their transponder code to 7,700. And this is the code used when a plane has an emergency and indicates as an emergency on the air traffic control radar. We've talked about transponders before, you know, it's transmitting data and position info. At 1.48 p.m., the plane descended through 14,000 feet, and First Officer Tompkins switched over to the Maui Tower frequency. She informed the tower of their rapid decompression, declared an emergency, and requested emergency equipment. At this point, the flight descends through 10,000 feet, and the captain slows the plane down in order to comply with uh, air traffic control speed limitations, because when a plane's below 10,000 feet, you cannot fly faster than 250 knots. Okay. Is the plane flying okay at this point? I mean, is is it difficult to control? Uh, I mean, they're controlling it it's not operating the way that they would expect it to Mm -hmm. but uh he's very gingerly flying the plane you know with damage like this you don't want to uh stress the plane too much so you're going to be real very deliberate and slow with your actions you know you're not going to do a a quick bank you're not going to try to do anything that might further destabilize the plane so trying to take it as cautiously as possible every step of the way so you know at this point (laughs) Crossing 10,000 feet, slowing down to try to comply with um, the limitations of speed they're supposed to respect. So he retracted the speed brakes. Uh, he removed his oxygen mask and started making a slow turn to line up with runway two at Kahului Airport. Like I said, got to keep everything really slow and deliberate. Uh, when the plane slowed down to 210 knots, the captain ordered the first officer to set the flaps. First, the flaps were set to flaps one, then to flaps five. When the flaps were set past flaps five, the plane actually became less controllable. So they kept the plane uh, at flaps five for the remainder of the flight. Hmm. Captain Schortenheimer also found that when the plane slowed down below 170 knots, it became harder to control as well. So he kept the plane at 170 knots for the approach and landing. Uh, Typical approach speed for a 737 is about 140 knots. So they don't have as much flaps as they normally do, and they're coming a, a little faster than they normally do. So First Officer Tompkins lowered the landing gear at the point they normally would in their approach, and the main gear indicated down and locked. However, the nose gear did not. Mm. So they tried to manually lock it into place using a handle in the cockpit. But again, the light still did not illuminate, indicating that it was locked. So at 155, the first officer advised the tower they would not have a nose gear and said, we'll need all the equipment you've got. While on approach, the captain started uh, advancing the power levers to help keep them on the path. But he noticed a yawing motion to the aircraft and found the number one engine had failed. Oh, no. And at this point, they're now four miles out on final approach. And the captain said the plane started to shake and rock. But they managed to land on runway uh, oh two at Kahului Airport at 158. Uh, the plane actually had a normal touchdown and rollout. And the number two engine reverse thrust was used to help slow the plane. And the passengers were evacuated onto the runway. 
If you enjoyed that episode, that was just a small snippet from one of our episodes of Black Box Down. You can click the link down below me to see all of them, experience them for them for yourselves. Uh, while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you can keep up to date anytime there's a new Black Box Down episode out. Animated or not. <laughs>